Hello, my name is Suleika Okendo. I was working this summer in, in the chemical engineer department with Dr. Phil Savage. Uh, the project I was working on is called uh, Gasification of Biomass Model Compounds in Supercritical Water. The motivation for this project is there's an increased interest in renewable energy alternative sources of energy. The chemical conversion of biomass into other species that retains its chemical energy is an approach that is both sustainable and largely carbon dioxide neutral. In this process of gasification, an energy-rich gas mixture of hydrogen, methane, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide can be formed by subjecting biomass to high temperatures and pressures. Conventional methods of gasification requires a drying step, but supercritical water gasification of biomass avoids the drying step. Supercritical water is an excellent solvent. It's environmentally benign, and it can dissolve most organic materials. Studying model compounds can give us an insight into chemical behavior of biomass. The compound we selected is called phenol, and it's selected because it's among the simplest chemical models for an important structural features of lining. Studying the chemical transformation of phenol in supercritical water gasification will provide a theoretical basis for developing a more efficient and economical process for producing energy from biomass. The reactions the phenol goes through are um, the steam reforming reaction to generate hydrogen, and also it goes to water shift gap reaction to generate more hydrogen and a methanation, methanation reaction to generate our methane, which are the two fuels we're looking for. To achieve this, uh, we were trying, we found, we try to different temperatures and two different concentrations of phenol. The temperatures were 500 Celsius, 600 Celsius, and 700 Celsius. And the phenol concentrations were 5 weight percent of phenol and 10 weight percent of phenol. As a result, we get that, and this is a plot against uh, about temperature and molar yield against each of the gas products. And as we can see, the green one, as the 700, you produce more of each of the gas in the solution. Also, we proved that the 5 weight percent is better than the 10 uh, weight percent um, in each of the species. Um, this is more likely, this more likely happens because phenol is more likely to react with water to form gases that not polymerize, and high molecular weight compounds such as char. I would like to thank the chemical engineer department at the University of Michigan, and also uh, Dr. Savage to let me work in one of his projects. Thank you.